Hi, I'm Suzanne Lively. Thank you for joining me. On this channel, I share with you my love of homeschooling and my passion for all things book related. In today's video, I am going to do a look inside at all the amazing fun schooling books that I purchased this spring for their spring sale. This is a fourth video in my back to school series for the 2021 to 2022 school season. If you like this video and want to see more of my back to school series, definitely hit subscribe and the little bell to be notified when I upload new videos because I will be doing one or two videos a week up into September. And I also have a playlist of previous look insides that I've done for the Thinking Tree and Fun Schooling books we already had. I'll link that up above. And without further ado, I'm going to jump right in. Here we have Travel Dreams Fun Schooling Journal, and this is 30 Fascinating Cities. Oh, all right. So this, put your name and date, contact information. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? And here you have Travel Dreams Fun Schooling Journal. We're going to look at 30 interesting places then it suggests a to-do list. Be ready to visit your local library or pick out books at your at a local store. Zoom in to every location on Google Earth. Oh, I do want to point out one thing though. If you see down below, it has ethnic cooking, travel documentaries. These are suggestions that you can use to fill out the following sheets and they have similar sheets for the 30 different cities. So I'll show you a set of those. One of the things I love about this book is it starts off listing city, country, and continent. So you go through and put which of these cities and which of these countries fall under what continent. And I love that you get a broad view first and that continues over the first few pages. This is decorate the suitcases when you decide what cities you want to visit in the future and then choose the books you're going to use. Okay, where on earth are you going? Label the maps. So I love this as well. There's an overview of the world. It suggests you plot the cities on the world map and then it breaks it down by continent, which I love. So here it suggests label the continent color of the countries and plot the cities on the map. And it refers back to the list we started on page six or seven. And you can do that for each continent. Here's a place for you to list your travel dreams or your child to list their travel dreams. First one is Dubai. Like I said, these are the same for each of the different cities. So, so I'm just going to show you one. So look in a book. Look on Google Earth and watch one documentary and it suggests you list the resources here, any notes you want. And then over here it's to write or draw, popular foods, traditional clothing, draw the flag, quote or proverb, a historic event, a famous landmark. You really get to know the city that you're looking into. Things to know when traveling to Abu Dhabi, what to see, write about a historic event, what to do. Find a recipe and then step-by-step -step food prep. Then it's about the fashion in the city, modern styles, draw traditional costumes. And then we get to Amsterdam. And like I said, it's asking and showing you the same things. And all those pages are there for all of the 30 cities. And there's some pages at the back if you want to add some cities of your own choice. This one is Travel Dreams Mexico Social Studies, and this is learn about Mexican culture through the arts, fashion, architecture, music, tourism, sports, wildlife, traditions, and food. And all the travel dreams like this have the same layout, except they're obviously for a different country. All right, here we go. Travel Dreams Mexico, fun schooling journal and adventurous approach. And then you put your name and date, Contact information, some information about yourself. Let's learn topics and activities you can explore with this curriculum. 
and I'll put that up a little if you want to pause it. Yep. This really is a comprehensive book. If you did everything in this book that's suggested, you'd have a really great understanding of Mexico, which is amazing. Just to zoom into Mexico using Google Earth and explore the wonders of this amazing country. Add 15 things to the map. 15 interesting things. Okay. Write or draw using your library book. Popular foods, clothing, flag, quote, a historic event, a famous landmark. Read a book and watch a video about food in Mexico. And then it's Mexican cuisine. What do, five me what do Mexicans love to eat? List five of the most popular dishes and then draw your favorite Mexican food. Find a recipe, then step-by-step -step prep. Draw the food that you prepared. What to do in Mexico. And this, I like this. This is create a comic strip showing your dream adventure. Read a book and watch a video about a famous person. All about style, fashion in the city, modern styles, traditional costumes. And then you can color traditional costumes, Mexican history, write about a historic event. This is read a book and watch a video about the nature and wildlife. What animals live in Mexico, list 10. Draw each of the animals. Same with the plants. And then history of music in Mexico, write about a famous Mexican musician. Art and entertainment, transportation inventions and inventors, athletes, Mexican homes, write about a family tradition in Mexico. My light's flicking. Okay. Find and color the hidden objects. Read a book about tourism and travel. Plan a trip to the capital city, what to do in Mexico City, five things you should know before you get there, a comic strip, creative writing, illustrate your story. Okay, I'm going to share with you the Seaside a Science Curiosity Journal, a handbook of observation and discovery. And I have to say this is going to be a little longer in the sharing because this is so original from front to back. This is Definitely a science journal that took me by surprise. It, I thought at first I would do it over one summer by the looks of this. It might take a year of study, which is amazing. So if you're really into the ocean and nature, that sort of thing, definitely have a look at this. So books about sea and nature, the library, your own nature library, title, date, and for books and documentaries. Here she suggests that you draw some of your collection Make a collection cabinet, then make a nature study basket. Shell collecting and identification. So give each shell a new name, or write down the scientific name and where the shell is found. And she lists a bunch of cell shells that are commonly seen, then leaves a space for you to add in the ones that you discover or your kids discover. Drawing from nature. And then there's some drawings that Sarah herself did. Now the next pages are unique to Hawaii. So she gives suggestions there to write down facts about certain plants and animals found in Hawaii. Oh, I meant to say in each of these, she's getting you to look up something from Hawaii, but then to write down something from your own local environment. So you get a chance to learn about Hawaii as well as your own surroundings. My Nature Library. Reading time, draw a picture of nature, books, and animals. List the dangerous animals that are in your area. Draw a picture of your favorite ocean animal, your favorite fish. I am going to go a little quickly here. If there's something you want to see, definitely hit pause if you want to see more of it. But there is so much in this entire book, I need to go quickly or, or it'll be too long. Draw a picture from one of your nature books about plants, animals in your region. Draw a male and female. Color the parts of the world where it lives in. Genius. Okay, color and research each of these realistic drawings. Draw your favorites with a fine point black pen. Take a picture, so print your photos and stick them there. Draw a picture from one of your nature books about beaches. Study and compare two beaches. And now we're getting into weather, documentary. Watch a documentary. Again, more animals. And two oceans again. Here we have collect 10 small things from your yard and make a nature craft. 
draw and chase animals beaches again hidden objects animals oh. go on a nature hike and walk and write draw what you see now we're getting into some trees oh add your own art to finish the picture beautiful I'm just going to flip through some of it's repeating and others pages are new take a camping trip anyway there is an amazing amount in this book that would definitely keep a child busy for months next we have the top 30 grammar mistake table of contents There you go if you want to pause. Okay. Top 30 grammar mistakes. Note from the author. How do I know when to use effect or effect? How do I know when to use already or already? How do I know when to use a lot, a lot, or a lot? How do I know when to use by, by, or by? <laughs> How do I know when to capitalize? How do I know when to use a comma? How do I know when to use complement or complement? What is a dangling modifier? Fewer or less? How do I know when to use I or me? Into or into? It's or it's? Um, I love this. Mr. Mrs. Ms. or Miss or Ms. Posteri, singular noun. I'm just going to flip through. You definitely saw the table of contents if you want. You can pause that and see exactly what is covered in this. Okay. Today I will begin again. Sarah's secret 90-day pocket planner. The easiest way to live your dreams and get out of survival mode. I'm just going to show you this is... Yeah, it repeats every single day. And it, list the four important things that you can accomplish today then reflect on yesterday's accomplishments and then my dreams for tomorrow and it repeats which is what I love it's very simple I thought I would add this to my daily planner and pull out the things I really need to make sure I get done each day now we have warrior word work learning grammar through poetry ga games and crafts 115 activities this is one of the newer books table of contents okay What you'll need, or a warm up, wanted a warrior, <laughs> advertisement, find a video, abbreviations, ready. Read your new poem on the next page several times until you're comfortable with all the words and the flow of the poem. Highlight the five most important words or phrases that show the meaning of the poem. Poem illustration, reading time. Let's sort. Cut out the words on the next page. Match the months of the year and the days of the week with the correct abbreviations. Record your work below. Doodle page. More abbreviations. Copy work. So you to copy what's over here, over here. Again, reinforcing the abbreviations. Compound words. More compound words. Sorting compound words. Mm -hmm. All right. Antonyms. Doodle page. Multiple meaning words. Poem illustration. More copy work. And there you have it. Now we have the Thinking Tree Secret Diary book. It's a book of dreams, 180 day personal journal for beginners. It says level one girls. This is very basic. Today is a good day for a good day. 
date and then you can write about your dreams. And as you see, that continues throughout. So if that's something that you or your child loves to do, definitely check this out. It's great to have them all in one place for sure. I love this one. Autumn homeschooling, library-based curriculum journal, 60-day plan. So this is one of the core curriculum books that you'll find with Thinking Tree Fun Schooling books. See, this is a 60-day homeschooling workbook that covers eight different subjects with a focus on creativity and imagination. And when I was reading up further on this book, it suggests that all of your subjects are covered except for math. And there are some math exercises in here, but it does suggest using another, like a curriculum for your math in addition to this book. This one is a little bit longer than some of the other core curriculum books. This is a 12 week plan and it has six pages per day, which equals about two hours of guided learning. Again, it starts off with name, date, age, how to use this book, list eight things that you wanna learn about. And then the action steps to go about doing so, the supplies you needed, like your colored pencils and markers, that sort of thing. And if you want additional books, you can write them there. Beautiful coloring page. Write down an inspirational quote, a to-do list, nature study, go outside, and make a realistic drawing of something you find in nature. Reading time. Choose four books, read them for 15 minutes each, copy a sentence or picture from each book here. And then copy work to find an interesting paragraph on something you read, emoticons and moods, how you're feeling today, draw anything. Listening time, listen to an audiobook or classical music or ask someone to read a story while you color or draw on the next page. And then it says, what are you listening to? Draw a meal plan, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. Reading time one hour, choose four books, copy work. So we're starting over. Here's something different, math practice, film study, watch a documentary, educational program, movie or online tutorial, spelling time, find 20 words, six letters each, look in your books for words, write them here. And there's different objects throughout the book. Now the pages are beginning to repeat and that's how it goes on throughout other than different objects throughout. Here's math practice again, font writing practice, spelling time again. So here we are at another object lesson. World news today. The remaining fun schooling journals are ones that I purchased on PDF. I printed them on my home computer and then I took them into a printing house to have them bound. And this one is one of my favorites. This is Animals and Instruments World Tour Fun Schooling Journal and this focuses on language arts, geography, science and music. And it starts off as many do, put your name and date and the age and your contact information. And it tells you about this journal and gives you some instructions. 150 spelling and vocabulary words that are in here. Oh, do need to see those. All right. Here's some pra cursive practice. Adam the Awesome Aardvark plays the accordion in Australia. Meet the Aardvark. Where do I live? What do I eat? My scientific name, describe my home habitat and behavior, write about my history of folklore, describe the accordion, this is Australia, color the location on the map, then it asks you a bunch of questions about Australia, write, draw, paste, a flag, popular food, current events, famous landmark, famous person, postage stamp, try a traditional recipe, spelling and vocabulary challenge, more cursive practice. This is Benjamin, the bodacious bear, plays the banjo and Brazil. In Brazil, meet the bear, where does he live? Same sort of questions. You're starting to see the theme already. Oh, and this one's a film study. And this is meet the courageous cat in Croatia. I just wanna see, I'm just gonna, we're getting the, I'm gonna start going a little bit faster. Oh. Pages begin to repeat. There's the odd thing thrown in. 
this reminds me a bit like of the travel dream one. There's a lot of similar type of questions. I'm not sure exactly what cities and what countries they're visiting. I don't see a list in this book. Maybe it's on the website. If I find a list of the locations covered in this book, I'll leave it in the description below. The Seven Amazing Continents, World Geography and Social Studies. The Creative Research Handbook for Library and Internet-Based Learning, Fun Schooling with Thinking Tree Books. Table of Contents. Go to library, choose seven books. This is on Africa. Find Wonders in Africa. This repeats in each of the continents the type of information you're going to be looking for. Obviously, the illustrations and beautiful drawings change. Color of the animals of Africa. List 14 animals from Africa. Countries in Africa. Which countries do you know in Africa? Write them down. Show the countries on the map, writing the corresponding numbers. Travel dreams. Where in Africa would you like to go? Illustrate something about it. Movie time. Watch a movie or documentary. Copy an illustration from one of your books and read a book. Title, name, and description. Share your story. Music of the world. Fill the space in with your favorite things about Africa. And then moving on to Asia and those type of questions. Like I said, repeat with different illustrations. See the uh, world wonder search. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Oops. Oh, I stuck that in the back. Okay. The last one I'm going to show you today is this reading time, 180 day journal. And again, I printed it at home and then had it bound. And I did break it up to get it bound into two separate ones. I didn't want a great big huge one. I will say that I did single sided. And I wish I had have done double sided. So definitely consider that before you print off your PDF. All right, I love the idea of this. So this is keeping track of all the books that you and your kids read or your kid reads through the year. Well, we're in 180 days. <laughs> Book title, author, genre, illustration, theme, subject, favorite part. Draw or copy an illustration from your book. Rate the book. And draw or write about four interesting things from your book. Book of the week. Choose your favorite book to focus on today. Choose a section to copy. And after you've done, read it aloud seven times. Storyboards and comics. Create a storyboard or comic strip based on your favorite book from this week. And it starts to repeat itself. I think there's the odd thing. Oh, I always put an extra on the back. Okay. No. There might be the odd thing thrown in there. Yeah, like words. Write down 10 words from your reading time. Use a thesaurus. Look up related words and write them down too. Uh, but for the most part, it's generally the same thing. So you can have this wonderful uh, keepsake at the end of the year, which I think is amazing. Thanks for joining me. I hope you saw something that you liked. If so, please leave it in the comments below. It encourages me to continue making videos like these when I know that it's inspiring others. And I will see you soon with another video.